Hey singers, I'm Justin Stoney, the founder of New York Vocal Coaching, welcoming you to episode 13 of Voice Lessons Online. This is the show where passionate voice teachers from all over the world help us learn from some of the greatest singers of all time. Today's singer is a vocal genius, but she also said this, I never want to know the range of my voice. It has to be impulsive. I don't want to kill the mystery. Mm -hmm. That's our good friend, Bjork. And if you complain once more, you may time I love you. I go through all this before you wake up, so I can feel happier to be. So let's learn. First, Andy King, tell us how Bjork helps us to stop apologizing. Do you know what I hear a lot of from my students in our lessons? Sorry. I'm sorry. Ooh, my bad. That was not good. Sorry about that. I want to take a few seconds to use Bjork as an example of not apologizing for who she is. Let's take a look and listen to a few clips. And me, I'm not yet after. There's toughly, toughly, toughly no logic to human behavior. But yet so, yet so irresistible. And me, break down what we saw and what we heard. It's fairly obvious. But are you apologetic about the sounds you make? Are you apologetic about the cracks, the flat or sharp notes, the too bright or too dark sounds? Bjork is an international superstar and there's absolutely nothing apologetic about what she does, how she sounds, and what she offers to the world of art and humanity. I want to challenge you to sing perform, and live authentically. Challenge your voice to new highs and lows, to new textures, and to infinite colors. There is only one you, and the world will only be greater because of what you bring to the table. Awesome, Andy. Next, Christy Bissell. I can't wait to hear about this. Cursive singing. Bjork is one of my favorite singers. So unique. The lyrics drive all of the information we're getting to our ears. It's so, so special. One of my favorite songs is Pagan Poetry by her. And I'm going to just say a couple of the lyrics. I want you to listen to them first in my voice. Pedaling through the dark currents, I find an accurate copy. This is how me, Christy Bissell, speaks from Pittsburgh. I've lived in New Jersey. I've lived in Virginia. So this is how my voice sounds. I'm influenced by all of my surroundings. Let's listen to Bjork sing these words.
Bjork is from Iceland. She has a very interesting accent. Listen to her in interviews. It's a really cool voice. And she became so famous whenever she came out with human behavior that I think a lot of people decided, oh, you know what? I want that. Mm, but I'm not from here. I'm not from Iceland. But the, I'm going to sound like that. People kind of adopted this. And some of the things that she's doing, you'll hear a lot of vocal fry. You'll hear a modification from the vowels. For example, it's very different from how I would say some of those words. So if I wanted to sound like Bjork, I would be taking on her accent. So this kind of goes past vocal pedagogy and into linguistics. And there are some really cool things that you can find in the linguistics world. But cursive singing is just kind of this. It's very, very modified in the way that the words are said. And there's vocal fry and there's scoops and consonants are sometimes just left out. But it's a really cool, interesting thing. You'll hear a lot of other artists do it, like Halsey, Lord, Corinne Ray Bailey, Sia, even Adele does it sometimes. But the main thing to know is that I think Bjork was kind of the person that was like, hey, do this. <laughs> and everyone was like, yes. <laughs> anyway, Bjork and cursive singing. Check it out. Thanks, Christy. Hugo Kurth, what about the power of consonants? Listen to me carefully and stop. <laughs> Stopping a sound, the phonation, the air, or the singing is one of the most incredible powers of consonants. But why do we need something to stop our singing once we want it to be released and go everywhere in the audience? Aha! Uh -huh. I think Bjork has an excellent answer to that. Check it out. of the song, we have potent words such as fountain, blood, girl, bird, feel, etc. That means that these words have strong initials with consonants that burst the airflow, in the end, in the vowel that comes just after it. In this performance of Bachelorette, Bjork minds every piece of consonant that resonates in her mouth also bringing power to her singing. She even reaches some incredibly high notes thanks to a vital flosive consonant. But like so the word bay is a chest dominant mix in a C5. On other parts we can even hear a high E flat 5. Wow! That is something. You can also take advantage of this maneuver of stoppage of air and its subsequent sudden release. B, D, G, for example. This burst of air locates articulatory sensations for the singer. The airflow rate is high and vocal folds tend to be steadier. I'm a tree that grows just a reminder, as it happens to myself, as English is not my mother tongue, Bjork Snyder. She's from Iceland, and Icelandic is a more often consonantal language, where most words use lots of glottal stops pre-aspirated and plosive consonants, just like as in bachelor it. So when you think it's time to work on your high notes, air compression and articulatory sensations, stop and mind the consonants you're working with. <laughs> <laughs>
Excellent Hugo and Zach Bradford. What about Bjork's incredible variety? Variety is the spice of life. And Bjork writes and sings in a wide variety of musical styles, from folk to jazz, rock to electronic, and many more. She's a stylist to chameleon and yet retains her own unique, unmistakable sound in whatever song she sings. Here are a couple of great examples demonstrating the vast stylistic terrain that Bjork can have. Technically, Bjork explores a vast range of vocal sounds on many continuums. From soft to loud, speech-like to legato, decompressed to compressed, clean to distorted, chest voice to head voice, and everything in between and beyond. In addition to creating interest for her listener and enhancing expressivity, this variety ensures that Bjork is utilizing a wide range of vocal coordinations and vocal muscles. And this variety also promotes flexibility and vocal longevity. This next clip demonstrates the many coordinations Bjork can access within one song. So I want you to listen for how many different coordinations you can hear her use. And next time you practice, explore the ways in which you can employ sounds and coordinations that you may not usually choose. It's oh so quiet. Shh. Shh. It is oh so still. Thanks, Zach, and thanks to all our experts. I'm going to share what I've learned from Bjork in a moment, but first, here are some ways to add a little variety to your vocal journey. To get to know the Voice Lessons Online team or schedule a lesson, visit voicelessonsonline.com. To get your copy of Justin Stoney's book, Sing Like Never Before, visit singlikeneverbefore.com. If you'd like a vocal course that you can do from home, check out the Voice Lessons to the World vocal course. Our 12-part program takes you on a journey from beginner to master level vocal exercises. Find it at voicelessonstotheworld.com. If you're a voice teacher looking to master your craft, join our worldwide community at voiceteachertraining.com. Finally, if you'd like free vocal tips sent to you each day, sign up at dailyvocaltips.com. I've been a Bjork fan since the days you could pop a CD in your car and drive. Every Bjork album was in my car. 
As a lover of sound, I've always admired that Bjork has a different sense of right and wrong than most of us. Think of it this way, an avant-garde painter stretches the boundaries of color, texture, shapes, theme. Bjork does the same thing with her singing. It's not so much about right or wrong, good or bad, pretty or ugly. She prioritizes the soul. You Now, not everybody likes to cruise down the highway listening to Bjork like me, but I hope you see just how important Bjork singing is to all of us. I mean, as a voice teacher, how many times have I seen singers basically in sound prison? We've either been told that certain parts of our vocal expression are off limits or just plain wrong, and no way, man, that's like saying certain parts of the soul are off limits. So here's your homework. Break out of sound prison. Ooh. Practice being like Bjork for a day. Do an entire practice where your goal is to find something interesting, something new, maybe even something scary. Worst case, you feel a little silly. Best case, you spark a new love affair with what your voice can do. So learn from Bjork. Prioritize the soul. And we'll see you next time for more voice lessons online.